All right. Hi, Nate. How you doing? Hi, Jaleesa. Good to see you, Jaleesa. Same here. Nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you so much pleasure. for coming oh, to speak on. with us. Of I'm course. like so excited. I have so much to ask you. I don't know where to start. Wherever I guess I'll start with what I really want to know. Yeah. You get offers that are worth more mm -hmm. than what you received, the offer you decided to take from Fox. Why? Well, I, you know, Fox has been an amazing partner. I felt like in talking to them, they understood the, the potential of the film outside of just it being something that could potentially make money. You know, when I talked to them, I said, you know, I want this to have educational implications. They said, of course it should. I said, I want it to be in school and have a curriculum. They said, absolutely, we're on board. I was like, okay, cool. I was like, well, I want to make sure we go international because I think it's a story that can speak to injustice all across the globe and inspire people to address injustices in their community. They said, we're down for that too. All of the things that I, I presented to them, not only were they on board, they had ideas. And all of those ideas have been manifest up until this moment. They've been so supportive in so many ways. So I really am excited about having them as a partner. Now about the film, this film is about black resistance. And I'll be honest, the, the black community, sometimes we feel Hollywood, there is no black resistance. Actors and celebrities, sure. they just don't speak up about the injustices and how we feel. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I think, you know, a couple things. One, I think the film, yes, is about uh, resistance and having a right disposition toward injustice, but I also think it's about just dealing with injustice head on. In our community, we're not often given opportunities to be unapologetically black and, and to, to face our crisis in an unapologetic way. Uh, but when you're dealing with Nat Turner, there is no other way. You know, he acted by faith, he acted with his community, and he was aggressive in, in, you know, hoping to achieve the change he wanted to see. And I think that there's a time for that. There's a time for peace, you know, and there's a time to be aggressive. You know, Nat Turner only had broken handles and axe handles, and we have the internet, we have social media, which we really control in our community. So I think that, you know, you look at the last 24 hours in this country and the things that are happening, we have to stand up and assert ourselves and really try to create the change we want to see with whatever our occupation is. I'm an artist, so I try to create art that will that is subversive to systemic crisis and systemic racism. You're a journalist, you try to do the same. I hope that people come out of this film feeling like empowered, that the least among us can be the, the greatest among us. The least among us can have the greatest impact. We had an enslaved man.